A lot of people think this is a joke. In fact, it sounds kind of funny. But the Licensing Act of 1872 is still in force. Section 12 of that Act makes it an offence to be drunk in a public place. Every person found drunk in any highway or any other public place, whether a building or not, or on any licensed premises, shall be liable to a penalty not exceeding level one on the standard scale. And currently level one on the standard scale is 200 pounds. And it goes on. Every person who is drunk while in charge on any highway or other public place of any carriage, horse, cattle or steam engine, or who is drunk when in possession of any loaded firearms, shall be liable to a penalty not exceeding level one on the standard scale or in the discretion of the court to imprisonment for any term not exceeding one month. 1872 was an interesting and eventful year, not just because of the Licensing Act of 1872 or the implementation of Offences Against the Person Act of 1861. 1872 saw a meteorite strike the United Kingdom near Banbury. British government bought a number of forts on the Gold Coast from the Netherlands and the famous painting of Whistler's mother finally took shape and was exhibited at the Royal Academy of Art in London. It was also the year that the Metropolitan Police went on strike, although they, together with prison officers, are no longer allowed to strike. But 1872 was also responsible for the Licensing Act, which made it illegal to be drunk in a pub. And this is not the only, and certainly wasn't the first law, to outlaw being drunk. In fact, the Metropolitan Police Act of 1839, Section 58, also dealt with people being drunk. Section 58 is titled, Drunkards guilty of riotous or indecent behaviour may be imprisoned. And it provides every person who shall be guilty of any violent or indecent behaviour in any police station house shall be liable to a penalty of not more than level one on the standard scale for every such offence or may be committed if the magistrate before whom he shall be convicted shall think fit instead of inflicting him any pecuniary penalty, that means a monetary penalty, to the house of correction for any time not more than one month. A house of correction means prison, of course. And this is still in force from 1839 and section 58, although again, most of this act has been repealed. Some sections such as this remain. And of course, there are many more recent laws that deal with alcohol and the selling of alcohol, such as the Licensing Act of 2003, which makes it an offense for publicans to sell alcohol to someone who is clearly drunk or for someone else to get alcohol for someone who is already drunk. So the next time you may be asked what sounds like a silly question, you'll have a not so silly answer, which is backed up in law with a few interesting facts to go along with it. So just because of that, I'd be really grateful if you subscribe, like the video and share it with somebody. And in the meantime, I thank you for watching.